What is going on everybody? I hope everybody's having a fantastic Monday. Hope your weekend was great. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Black Apino, the Apple Guy. And today I am here with another simple tutorial. And this one's going to be on how to replace the tips on your Logitech crayon. Now I'm going to do just a little bit of a backstory on this as I made a previous video as to why I think this is the best stylus for the iPad. In fact, I think it's uh, amazing stylus for both the iPad, the iPad Air, as well as the iPad Pro. Now this is a $70 stylus that works with both the 6th, the 7th, and the 8th gen iPad, as well as the iPad Air 4th gen, and it also works on both the iPad Pro 11 and 12 inches. Now the one thing I love about this is that unlike the iPad, or unlike the Apple Pencil, both the 1st and the 2nd gens, this is only $70. So the iPad pencil for the iPad, just the iPad itself, is $100. The one for the Pro is $130. Now, the only drawback of this stylus is that if you love to do a lot of drawing or architecturing or anything like that, it is not a pressure sensitive stylus, so it's not really going to work the same way as you would if you own the Apple Pencil Gen 1 or the Gen 2. But if we're just talking like this, casual kind of drawing where you don't require you to be doing any pressure sensitivity on it at all, then again, it's not bad, but uh, I would really recommend you just to stick with the iPad pencils, uh, whether it's the first gen or the second gen. Now where this thing shines at is the fact that this is a $70 stylus that works on, again, all four units. Now I made a video on this earlier as to why I think this is the best alternative to the Apple Pencil. I thought I would just do a little bit of a background again on it and then show you how you can replace the tips on your Logitech pencil with a new one as time tends to go by with these these tips do tend to wear out and eventually you have to replace them instead of having to buy you know a whole new pen or buying another stylus or even having to you know go and spend you know 20 some odd dollars on one tip this one I only spent I think around 10 or 15 dollars and I actually got three tips so just going to kind of give you a background as to why I love this pen. Reason number one is this right here. That is the single one reason why I love this pen over the Apple pens, whether it's the first gen or the second gen, is that this has a power button. So when I'm not using it, I can turn it on and off. Can't do that on the iPad stylus, on either one of them. You can unpair it to the iPad, but then you have to repair it. This, you simply turn it on and off, and it just works on the iPad. Don't ask me how it works, I just know that it does. Number two, unlike the uh, stylus for both the iPad Gen 1 and the Gen 2, I have a simple, where I can simply just plug in a lightning into any available USB port and plug it in, assuming that I haven't left the battery on all day or all night and have been using it. Aside from that, all I have to do is simply just turn it on and off and I'm good to go. Number three, it's light. Now, obviously, it's not gonna it's not gonna handle the same way as the Apple Pencil was, as they look more like a pencil. But aside from that, just those two main factors: the fact that I don't have to pair it to my iPad, I guess it'd be turned on and off. And if I want to charge it, aside from having to connect it to my iPad physically, I simply can just use a Lightning to USB, plug it in, and it's good to go. So, if you want to see that video, I'll drop a link in the description below as to why I favor this pen over all the Apple stylus pens that are out there. Now, eventually if Apple comes up with a newer version of theirs that's not so cumbersome and super expensive, then I'll probably consider doing a review on that one, buying that one, and might do a review on that versus this. But until that happens, I'm always gonna stick with this pen because I just love this pen. So as you can see here, I have some tools that we're gonna need to replace the tip of the Logitech pen. Pretty simple, really easy to do. Um, there's two little piece holes right there, one there, and one there. All you have to do is take this tool, which you have to order from Logitech itself, and I'll have a link in the description providing that as well. And what we'll do is we're just going to simply just pop this, take out one of these tips, and then we're just going to simply remove the tip that we have, and then that's it. So I'm just going to part. So we're just going to take this piece. As you can see, those two pieces, little holes right there. There's going to be little holes right 
in the middle, take those, and then all you do is you simply just, once you line them up, you press in, and then you simply just pull this off, just like that. Then you simply just twist that. Take your new pen, simply just take this, screw that back on, just like that, while you're still holding that in. And then you just take this, and you simply slide it back on, and then there you go, as you can see. And then once you're done, you simply remove that, and it's a new tip on that. And it's fairly easy, it takes maybe about 10 minutes, 15 minutes to do. And that is how you replace the tips on a Logitech crayon. You simply just order the pieces right here, it will come with this and three tip heads, and then that's pretty much it. So I wanna thank everybody for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up as these likes do help you create better content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.